her singer Tao Chang, one of the Vietnam Idol 2007's finalists, receives acclaim from music lovers and journalists alike for her ability to sing English songs. Together with her emotion-filled voice and stage presence, she is considered a young and fresh element of the Vietnamese pop scene. In our On the Mic this week, we meet up with Tao Chang, who talks about dreams, music, and aspirations. Tao Chang rose to fame in the V-pop music scene back in 2007, when she finished as a top five finalist in the 2007 season of Vietnam Idol. Since then, Chang's performance of English and Vietnamese lyrics is applauded by critics, particularly covers of songs like Falling, What's Up, and I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. She also released original singles in purely English language like Breathe Again, Feel the Life, Strangers, and Superstar Girl. Trang proves to have a nearly perfect pronunciation like native speakers, besides a strong and emotional vocal ability. Hello Tha Trang, thank you very much for being on our show today. So, why did you choose to sing a lot of songs in English while your fan base is mainly Vietnamese? Um, I don't know when I started to like this language so much. Um, in high school, this is the best subject that I'm good at. And um, when I moved back to Saigon to study, I started to study English officially too. And I practiced a couple of songs. One of my favorite idols was Whitney Houston. And I started to practice her songs, uh, such power and strong melody. Um, so I could sing on English before I could speak like this, like now. Um, so I, yeah, I, don't, I still don't know what's the reason. Uh, I just, just have the passion with it. A majority of Vietnamese singers often have a problem of pronunciation or not fully understanding the language while they sing English songs. How about you? Before, a couple of years ago, I done the same thing that I just sing the language, but I don't know what this about. Don't know what's the meaning. Um, but I think singers, we have good ears that we can copy the language very easy, and we copy it. Um, no need to understand what does that mean. But for me, I change my mind, and I think that understand the song, it's better. So uh, I started to study more English and to understand what I'm saying. Do you have any difficulty looking for composers who write good, I mean great English songs? Thanks for this question. Um, as you see that Vietnamese artists, we mostly do cover English songs um, because we don't have good composer that can write like really good English songs yet. But then I met up with um, very cool guys um, that they came from abroad and they work in Vietnam. And luckily that I matched them and have a put opportunity to work with them. And they brought here very new, modern, westernized stuff. So uh, that's a very good start for me to work with like officially professional. Now I can breathe again. Feel the sunshine through me. The world is smiling. I'll breathe again. You're the best thing for me. And the only thing I ever wanna need. I can breathe again. How did you balance the Western and the Vietnamese culture in your songs? I'm kind of like in the between uh, the traditional girl and the yeah Western Westernized. And so which is good that um, it's helped me with um, the music way that I'm going that I'm doing both Vietnamese and English at the same time as I'm still the Vietnamese 100% Vietnamese but I would love to uh, help the audience 
bring up, bring them up to another level of listening, and get closer to the world. So that's what I'm trying now. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in the music industry now? Most of my fans are young generation, and uh, they looking forward to see new thing. So I think I'm in the same page with them that I'm young as well and I'm doing things which is right for my age. I'm finding something new all the time. I already prove to many people that in their mind always if you ugly you from um, poor family that you can't do anything or can get anywhere. And I already proved that myself to people that I'm from the Euro too and I can make it happen. So many young people um, like my way and, they, and I make them believe more in their way. I give them hope, um, inspiration and uh, yeah, make them think that they can get there too. From a poor family in the central city of Guangxi, Zhuang was a student at a local conservatory when she auditioned in Ho Chi Minh City. Her rag to riches rise later on is considered an example of turning zero to hero. The hardship of her early life was probably the push for her to try even harder in her career. You have a nickname, Trang Sola or Trang Strangely Ugly, but I prefer to call you Uncomely Beautiful. <laughs> Why do you have such a nickname? Uh, this nickname came from my friends in uh, Vietnam Idol competition. Uh, so when we hang out together before the show, then we just talk a lot, and somehow that nickname came up, and it's go with me till now. And I have to say that it's kind of like a special name for me and make people remember me easily that now people don't even need to say my name so it's only when they say it so loud and they know who am I yeah. You don't seem to have the perfect formula for a superstar in the music industry which is beauty and a little bit of talent How do you will survive in a severe industry like music? In the end of the day it's always survive with the real talent, I think. And even though in the short term, somehow they can make lots of money um, with the, something around help them. It's not only the talent. So I think it depends on the time. But the audience always knows what they're listening and what they want. So it's very hard competition too. So I think in the end of the day, all the talent is going to survive. And you are confident of your talent? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> I think that I can sing and I hope that I can live long with this. What can we expect from the young and fresh elements, from the young generations of singers like you? Um, I do hope that um, the young talents, including me, uh, we could do something um, for the younger generation, um, give them something new, uh, but also we n not forget where we're from, the original. Um, but we're not gonna be behind, still learning new things every day and get new things. Yes. Thank you very much, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you.